So, uh, what I'm gonna do now is, I'll, I'll go to the Battle of the Birds. I, like I said, I really don't want to finish the world. I don't know if it's a boss battle or what. But, we do have... Actually, we finished quite a few of these rifts already, haven't we? We've... Or we haven't, sorry, I was looking at the levels. I was gonna say, I don't remember doing any rifts in this world. But I know where to find some of them. Um, we know where to find that one. That one is gonna be in the Picture Perfect or... Most likely in the Big Parade level, because we can see the crowd below. Uh, this one is going to be found on the Murder on the Owl Express level. And this rift is in the first level, Dead Bird Studio. So why don't we go back to Murder on the Owl Express. I really enjoyed this level. And we haven't spent a lot of time here. We had, we never, we haven't been back since we left. So why don't we go back and we will grab that timepiece by doing the rift. All right. So we're probably gonna have to get bombarded by the crows asking us all sorts of questions. Did you know that having a pet helps improve self-confidence and relieve stress? Yeah, I can't skip this, unfortunately. You know that pets can have pets, unfortunately. But if you had a pet, what do you think the name of your pet's childhood pet would be? We're just gonna type in anything, because our goal is to get to the cafeteria. Is certain... As much as it pains me to skip all of their great dialogue. I'm in a hurry, move! Okay, so we actually did skip two of the crow's questionings, which makes me wonder, I wonder if you could finish this level without answering their questions, which would be interesting. But in any case, we can, uh speed run that level pretty damn quickly and come and find our rift oh that's nifty that's a new mechanic we haven't seen before oh oh my god that was so close ah, oh i'm so bad oh woof. playing it risky there did you guys see that i was so close to falling Oh. Okay, this is gonna take a few tries, I feel. I also don't know what that red cord is for, or if there's any way for me to, like, get rid of that, or anything I can do about it. I don't know. What I do know is that that is a really, really far jump. I don't know if I'm supposed to make that. Because if I am, that is very, very just gonna be very very like precise nope oh so close so close I think that is the first rift I've ever actually died in wow that's brutal oh 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 look the cord or like the wire is for these panels. I only just noticed that now as I stepped on this. It turned from red to green. Aha, uh -huh, so... There's a panel up there, it looks like. I was gonna see if I could jump up there and get to the... The only other idea that I have, maybe, maybe, I've only got one life left. <sighs> oh, that would be really risky, is to go over there, because it looks like there's almost like footprints leading up. So jump up there and sidle hop my way up, because I think that jump is a little too far to make but i'm also really terrible at sidle jumping so 
Or not sidle, but you know what I mean. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> I figured it out. That's what I was missing. I was supposed to come up here first. There we go. Okay, that makes more sense. God, guys, I'm a genius. Also, that's a steaming pile of bull. Did you guys see that? I hit- I got a checkpoint when I went over there and it didn't give me a checkpoint. Damn, I got schooled. I don't even know what that owl was throwing at me, but they don't attack me. They're so nice. That was just freaking rude. Owl, no. I got owled. Yes, I did. Well, not today, sir. Fool me once. I'm sorry, I had to do that, but you're getting in my way. God, this rift is just out to get me. Hope you guys aren't gonna feel dizzy by watching this. Oh god! Oh god! I'm like over jumping trying to make the jumps. This is so stressful. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> Don't fall! There we go. Whew. Okay. God, this is honestly, I think, probably the hardest rift we've had to do so far. I cannot remember any other rift giving me, like, this much difficulty. I certainly don't think I've died in any other rift. The first, first, you know, a couple deaths from my bad, not realizing the mechanics and stuff like that, but... Get out of here, raccoon. It's also weird that it's not allowing me to pick up those pawns. I do like that all of these rifts are really quite unique, though. Um, they mix them up enough so that they don't feel any different, which is really cool, seeing as how the levels are all so short. And we get to roll again! Oh my god, this is, so I don't- I think this is honestly, like, my favorite part of this game, is just rolling the dice, because it's so exciting. Or, like, the slot machine, rather. Okay, what do we got, guys? What do we got? New color. Oh, I I like those colors a lot, but we only just got a new color. So let's go for something else. New color. They really want us to have another color. All right, one more roll. We're going to have to take whatever prize it gives us on this third roll. New remix. All right. Oh, and we get one for the time rifts, which is pretty cool. Okay, so, maybe since we're on a roll here of going to all the different levels, I could probably do all the time rifts in that level since I know exactly where to find all of them, but uh, we haven't been to the subcon forest in a while, and we did actually unlock the last regular act before the boss. We have Act 5 to finish, and once we finish Act 5, we can do the boss. Now, I had quite a bit of difficulty with the Toilet of Doom boss, the crazy outhouse or whatever it is you want to call it. Some people in the chat were saying that this boss is much more difficult, so I am not <laughs> looking forward to that at all. I'm sure I'm gonna do awful. Uh, so let's finish up Act 5 and then we can at least unlock that boss and we can attempt it one day when I, you know, get up the nerve.
Oh my god, he looks adorable with a post office hat on. I know he's supposed to be like evil or whatever, but I just think he is so cute. <laughs> oh, I love his voice too, like even his voice isn't evil. I don't even know his name, but I, <laughs> I just love him. Um, there's also an achievement to climb to the top of his house, which um, I haven't accomplished yet. Um, but I think it's gonna be one hell of a climb. So I might try that. I might even try it on stream to see if we can get to the top of his house. We might just be able to start. I bet you we can just start on that vine and climb up. If this vine is climbable? Oh, it is. Okay. And there's also something in the background there. I feel like Subcon Forest probably has the most kind of goodies that I've missed. And I think we were here on um, a video collecting stuff and I talked about that a little bit earlier. Um, but I really feel like this level out of all the other levels really, really tests your platforming more than anything else. So there are probably gonna just be a few things I'm not gonna get in this world. Just because the platform- I find this level is definitely the epitome of your platforming abilities. Uh, and it's also- OH CRAP! NO! Okay, whew. God. See? See what I mean? Uh, yeah, definitely the, like, the epitome of your platforming abilities. And, uh, everything kind of looks the same, and, uh... Yeah, you can make a lot of progress and then fall and completely screw yourself over, so... At this point... Probably. Uh, we don't need yarn anymore, I don't think, unless there's another hat, which... At this point, I think is really highly unlikely. I don't see there being another hat. <gasps> oh god, no! No! <laughs> Why? Ah! <laughs> no! I was so close! Probably. I look like I was near the top. This is what I mean. This is why, like, I love this level, but oh my god, I'm so bad at, like, the nice, precise platforming this level demands of you. I only lost one life, actually. It wasn't that painful. But I gotta remember not to slide on my belly. Oh. Okay, is this the final stretch? Can I breathe after this? If I'm careful... God, dude, how tall is your roof? How far does this go? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, one more try, guy. It's... You know what, I can't even blame the game, like, it- yeah, no, that was me. I was gonna say, it's like half the camera and half me, but at this point, I think I'm just like being careless and it's like, all me. All 100% me. So, I'll try to get to the top of this house another time. I must have been so close. But yeah, just, like, you rush or you miss one little thing and that's it. It just completely- screws you over and there might be something up there like maybe there's a piece of yarn or maybe there's a relic or something up there but i'll have to investigate later let's go see what he has to say he, just, he looks so happy look at him hey buddy yes sir always Sneak in the mailboxes and steal letters. Then deliver them to my minions. That way, it's almost like someone cares about them. I think deep down he cares. But our last mailman has gone. Poof. You'll have to do. I've got a gift for the occasion. Although it requires a special kind of hat to use. I hope you've got it. <laughs> Well, I've got all my hats, so it shouldn't be a problem. What do you got for me? Uh, 
the mail delivery badge, which upgrades our sprinting hat to a mail delivery scooter. Oh boy. This badge is only a rental. I need it back before you leave. Remember to put it on your sprint hat, or it does absolutely nothing. <laughs> I feel like whoever his VA was must have had so much fun doing that laugh. All of the minions who were awaiting mail will have an icon above them. Once you're done, come back here and clock out. Get it? Alright, so it looks like I'm gonna have to wear my sprinting hat for this. And I'm going to have to have that badge on, so... Oh my god, yay, that's so cute! <laughs> oh my god, this is so adorable! Look at me, I've got my little buggy! <sighs> I like my little paint job too, oh my god. I am loving this. <laughs> okay, I don't know where you guys all are. I guess I'll just go through the level and see if I can't find them. Wait, did you say about mail? What'd you say? More mail receivers behind the firewall. Okay, well, I have taken care of a few of these firewalls already. Oh, too high. There we go. Yeah, I think I've taken care of all of the foxes, um, and cleared all the walls, so it, it looks like these guys are all gonna be on this side of the forest, which is kinda nice. I don't have to go to the other side, on the other, um, side of his tree house. So we'll just have a nice look around for these guys. It's also nice that they're marked by the icon, that is actually quite helpful. Otherwise, I would be throwing mail at any little minion I saw, whether they wanted a letter or not. Oh, pff. uh, sorry, buddy. Uh, pff. That that's not even close to the tree, but okay. And there's another guy over there. It looks like. Just trying to be careful not to crash my scooter and trying to be a responsible driver. And so we've got one guy here. And we've got another guy here. I guess I also have to bite my tongue because I had said I'd never seen the badge seller at, at two places in one level. But he's obviously in two places in one level on this level too because he was at the start. Because I had seen him in two places in Mafia Town and it freaked me out. There we go. It makes me wonder if he's like an RE4 merchant or like Nurse Jenny or Nurse Joy Officer Jenny type deal, you know? Either way, there we go. That was another really easy timepiece. I'm kind of surprised that some of these later ones are um, simple. I didn't think the Golden Vault one would be that simple, but, uh... Damn. Two easy timepieces, and I think that may actually get us into our final door as well. Yay! Well, that was fun. Fun, just driving around on a little scooter. Here we go. Oh, hey, you! God, I forgot you existed, mustache girl. God, I haven't seen you in ages. Where the hell have you been? that kid's spaceship without the alarms going off. I don't... I hope she doesn't steal my timepieces like she did before. I bet she's collected a ton more timepieces than I have. Now where does she keep them? 
Oh, I get to control her. Oh, that's kind of cool. And she's got the same move set, but she's got no weapon. She's got no hats. Oh, I don't want to have I don't want to steal my own time pieces away from myself. Oh. Really? Jackpot. This must be where she stores them all. Time to mess with time a little. Wait, hold on. There was a huge lock on the outside of this vault, was there not? Okay, never mind. <laughs> Oh, holy crap! What are you doing to Mafia Town? Okay, so she didn't steal my timepieces? It doesn't look like it. So maybe she didn't steal them, but she just wanted to mess with them? Oh my god, look at that! What holy unholy thing did she do to Mafia Town? That definitely didn't look like that before. Holy crap. I wasn't done in there. I had stuff to do. I, I mean, I'm sure I can go back and uh, do more. Uh, hold on. Hold the phone. I, I, I don't want to deal with you right now. Yeah, see? There's a huge lock on the outside of this vault. I'm not crazy. Uh, so, okay, I have- I have questions. Okay, so... It looks like... That is probably just setting the stage for, like, a final battle, or like an- Um, another stage with... Mustache Girl? Because it looks like, um, we can, uh, go back to Mafia Town. And this is an entirely new stage. Hold on, let me check this out. Also, oh my god, I love her. her why would her spaceship have an attic? That is so baffling to me. Spaceships don't need attics. Uh, also do not see what the point of that is, because it... Oh, there's a... Wait, there's a button? Okay, I was gonna say, I literally do not see the point of that, but I also did not notice that button up there, which I hope I pressed. And I don't know how to get rid of this. Huh. So there is something up there, but I have to try and figure out how in the heck I can get rid of this big block or whatever. What is this even? This just looks like a big chunk of space. If I could see a little bit better, I could actually see if I was hitting that switch. Because I think it has to do with the fact that I'm not hitting that switch, but I could be wrong? Okay, well anyways, if this is the final, like, boss, or this is like the final stage, maybe I don't want to go there yet? Because, I mean, I still have stuff to do here, right? I mean, I guess it's good to know that I can kind of finish the game whenever I want. Um, but I still feel like there's just a lot to do. Like, I feel like we didn't even really get to see much of the last world, for sure. 